Hi guys, Rachel from Rachel Reviews All has made a new tag and she tagged me in it so I am here to do that tag and it is the subject tag and each question requires you to pick a book that is in some way related to the allotted subject so let's go on with it shall we? The first subject is maths and for that you are to pick a crime novel, uh, problem solving you see? The connection um, and I had to go for uh, Sherlock Holmes because I am a huge Sherlock Holmes fan and I've probably mentioned before. This is his four novels uh, by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's which includes A Study in Scarlet, The Sign of Four, Hound of the Basketballs and The Valley of Fear. Uh, my favourite is The Sign of Four which is probably the most ridiculous. It's very un PC but I just love how absurd the mystery is and how absurd the solution is. Number two is science and that is a science fiction novel. Um, my all time favourite science fiction novel is the ever popular The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I, I love this story and um, you may be able to tell from my love of Terry Pratchett that I really really enjoy comedy especially kind of really out of this world comedy fantasy and science fiction. It was originally a radio show and I'm a massive fan of the radio show which I own um, on CDs so I have completed the entire radio show which is a number a number of volumes um, and I've read the first two books but I do believe that they kind of differ. The story changes slightly in the books so I do need to read the rest of the books and see how things change from the radio show. Number three is English Literature which is a classic novel and I have actually picked a novel I did read in school but it's still one of my all-time favourite books, surprisingly, and I have kind of picked for all of these questions favourites. And that is Sunset Song by Lewis Grassic Gibbon. Uh, this is the full collection because it is part of a trilogy, which is called A Scots Queer. But Sunset Song, just a fantastic standalone book. It is a Scottish classic, so that might be something a little bit different for you if you're not from Scotland, you might not have heard of it. It is set at the beginning of the 20th century. It follows Chris, who is our main character, a young farm girl, through um, a good chunk of her life from childhood to um, I think it's her 20s or 30s. Chris also experiences the First World War during her lifetime in this book, although this book isn't by any means about the First World War, that is just another event that happens in Chris's life. Next subject is art, and you're to pick a book with a beautiful cover, um, and I'm sure a lot of you know that I I'm obsessed with beautiful covers. I usually try to find the most beautiful edition of a book if I'm going to buy it. So I am quite happy with my book collection and how it looks aesthetically in general. So I did find this uh, question quite difficult, but I've gone for one that is probably my favorite. Really hard to kind of commit myself to that, but I absolutely adore this cover and it is Angela Carter's book of fairy tales. Um, it just kind of, ticks all the boxes for me and what I enjoy. I like illustrated covers. I really enjoy kind of folksy fairy tale type illustrations, um, although these ones have a nice little creepy twist to them which I enjoy. I also love the font that's been used. I just think it would be awful if you had to read an entire book in this font, but works beautifully for this cover, matches illustrations, and I also think it just sums up what's inside the book perfectly. Number five is languages and I'm to pick a translated work. Obviously I have a huge selection of translated work from Latin or Greek with my classical literature collection but I decided to go for something more modern and from a different language and that is Down the Rabbit Hole by Juan Pablo Villalobos. This was originally written in Spanish and as you can tell by the tiny length it is a novella. It is about a Mexican drug lord's child and it follows his everyday life from his perspective. It's just a strange and intriguing world to um, get an insight into from such a odd perspective. Number six is history and that is historical fiction and I don't think I've actually read or own that much historical fiction but I did uh, remember I have Elijah's Mermaid by Essie Fox which I have done a review of and I'll link that below. Uh, I absolutely adored this book. It's set during the 19th century in England, predominantly in London, and it tells a tale of the seedy underbelly of London and prostitution and hysteria and all that good stuff and it's got a bit of a mystery. If you want to know more about it, like I said, I do have a review so check that out. The last question is number seven and that is geography and I am to pick a book that's not set in the UK or the USA, which I did realise if I wasn't picking somewhere set in a fictional 
place or somewhere set in ancient Rome or Greece. I didn't have a lot, which I'm feeling pretty guilty about, but uh, one of my all-time favourite books is set in Canada, so I hope that is adequate. I know it's not a um, non-English speaking country, but it's not the UK or the USA, and that is Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. And again, this is actually historical fiction and kind of crime, so could have fit into a lot of them. Atwood retells the story of a real murderess from the 19th century in Canada, and it tells the story fla from flashbacks to before the murder, during the murder, during the trial, and her life after. And through that format, everything sort of starts to piece together and not only are things revealed to you, but more mysteries arise and it's just an absolutely fantastic novel. Now it's time to tag some people. So I am going to tag Amy from Shout Amy, Leslie from Words of a Reader, Lisa from Skeletons on My Shelf, Katie from OKK and Sana from Books and Quills. Once again, thanks for tagging me, Rachel, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye, guys.